Everybody loves their burger. Everybody loves their burger sauce. What's the basic components of a burger sauce that makes it good, that makes it crave-worthy, drool-worthy? How does it function? Because if you understand the basic components of a good burger sauce, then you can create your own burger sauce at home. What I like is mayo as a base. It's got that richness, that velvety mouthfeel. And then I love having spice in there, high acid, right? That can be from vinegars, pickle juice in many cases, which is why the McDonald's burger sauce works so well. And then I also like a little bit of smokiness. So I'm gonna show you a burger sauce right now that works for me and you can add whatever you want on top of it or take away whatever ingredients you don't like. So we made our own fresh mayonnaise. I'm gonna start with the mayo as a base right here. Now, this is an, an aioli, and what makes it an aioli versus a mayo is a little bit of fresh garlic in there. So I've got this garlic-based mayo, if you will. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a little bit of Dijon mustard. I love Dijon mustard. It's got spice to it, it's bitter, so it fulfills that bitterness that we need on our palate. I also have here chipotle in adobo sauce. Um, just a little bit dropped in here. You get that smokiness, you get that spiciness. Chipotle peppers are nothing more than smoked jalapenos in that sauce itself. I've got Worcestershire sauce. Now, people always ask me, why do you use Worcestershire sauce? Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. It has anchovy paste in it, and it's got a lot of other tons of you know great flavors, fermented flavors. That's that umami that you're always looking for. What's umami? It is that fifth flavor profile, also known as a savory feeling in the mouth. And then I'm gonna add a touch of paprika here and just a dash of sherry vinegar to cut through some of that richness. That was a little bit more than a dash, but hey, you know what? We're cooking here. We make mistakes. Didn't realize that the lid was gonna come off on that one. So here we go. We got a little bit of our burger sauce that we're gonna throw together, just kind of mix it up. This is gonna be nice and saucy. And from here, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna whisk this, get some of those chunks just pulled together, emulsified. Oh yeah, now we're talking, look at that. This is gonna be a little spicy. It's gonna be a little bit spicy. So you can decrease the amount of chipotle in there and you can up the amount of mayo if you want this to just be more spreadable and not necessarily so spicy. 